So impressive this, so impressive. Hi everyone, a bit blowy today, hope you're well. Today, I brought you back to one of my favorite churches, an amazing, amazing place to visit. If you live in Surrey, you might know it. Way back to the lovely Chaldon Church. This church was built before the Norman Conquest, so it's got uh, pre-Norman foundations. There's probably a Saxon settlement on this plot well before then. This is nice. Children Khan. They put a Khan here. We built this Khan on Lost Species Day 2019 after a requiem service to raise awareness of the many uh, species eradicated by human activity. Oh, nice. So we're up on the scarp of the North Downs, high up in the village of Chaldon. Do you think, you know, like Croydon's only like probably five miles that way? But we're out in the middle of nowhere. It's a very, very hidden church. I mean, it's a, it's one of Surrey's little hidden gems. As everyone knows, I'm after sort of uh, little oddities, churches and villages to visit and see uh, in the county of Surrey. We've got some fascinating little, um, little gems. This is great. When the church was reopened back in June, uh, June of 2020, uh, the vicar did a ceremony and a blessing on the reopening. I'll link that video below on, the, on her channel. CMB, may Christ bless his house. So, lovely. And stuff. This is great. 12th century uh, coffin lid. 12th century. Wow. And here is the old stone steps into the church. Worn down now, obviously, but that's about 900 to 1,000 years old. Of Chaldon Church is famous for one of the best medieval wall paintings in England. So this is what is called a Duma painting, the last judgment and purgatory. It was uncovered in the Victorian era in around the 1870s when they were refurbishing the church. It dates from about 1170, probably by a Norman monk, it's absolutely spectacular and very, very rare. You know, you do get a lot of paintings in these churches once their whitewash comes off, but something so intact as this. Chilton Church is dedicated to St. Peter and St. Paul. It's grade one listed, so very ancient. A lovely, lovely church. Some of these tombs on the floor here, 1738, 1760. Got some even older here. Here lieth the body of Thomas Roan of this parish, who departed this life 28th of July, 1689, only 39 years, 1689. I'm thinking to myself, this could be original stonework, stone uh, floor work from the original build. Yeah, 
and you look at the wall painting like a medieval graphic novel how religion dominated everything for hundreds and hundreds of years tomb is 1862 with a sun face very pagan very pagan IG 1809, NCC 1965. I was saying in another video about graffiti. If the graffiti is old, well, 65, does that still form part of the history of something? You know, when you get people sort of doing engravings from the 1700s into an old building, that sort of adds to the charm. But modern graffiti with paint and whatever you're in aerosols, it doesn't. Here's a crime that's never been solved uh, St. Peter and St. Paul Church. The bell of this church, which was cast about 750 years ago, and the oldest in the country, was stolen in July 1970. Uh, that was Latin, and it was engraved with the bell of Blessed Paul. Yes, yeah, never, was never recovered, never recovered. A second bell dedicated to St. Peter was lost in the 18th century. Here's an even earlier grave here. Um, body of William Lambert, gent who departed this life. 3rd of March, 1656, 1656. I've said before, um, although I'm not religious, these are a great place to come, just to meditate, gather your thoughts just uh, relishing the tranquility of the peacefulness and the quietness of it. If you walk into a church, you automatically just lower your voice. It's interesting. You know, and I keep on saying, why were these churches built where they were? What's significant about these sites where they're built on top of earlier Anglo-Saxon temples? or Neolithic mounds and uh, gatherings. It's lovely. Have a quick look outside. Thank you very much. These were original, original beams. Look at that. The main body of the church was built in the 12th and 13th centuries. Let's say the uh, foundations are sort of pre-10, pre-Norman invasion. Chaldon was originally called Chalverdun in Saxon times, which means a hill or downs where calves. Uh, pasture so it's a very old a very old village I was saying earlier the North Downs Way ancient trackway is not too far away by a lot of these uh, settlements and places of worship are built along these old trackways when um, our Neolithic ancestors came across um, the scarp of the North Downs South Downs it goes on and on and originally would have uh, terminated around the Avebury area in Stonehenge which I find really fascinating being an Avebury nut Glider. as I say there's so many walks around here you've got the Downland Circular Walk you've got the North Downs Way, Pilgrim's Way there's lots of little ones that just crisscross across the landscape around here yeah there you go. So there you go guys, hope you've enjoyed the little tour of uh, Chaldon Church. My very first modern vlog from two years ago, I thought I wanted to return here and see a little bit more. The original video was, was quite short you see, so I thought yeah come along and have another look because I absolutely love this place. So if you like this video please like, please subscribe, leave a comment, always much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Take care.